Hi guys, welcome to this short video and recommendation on this Tommy Bahama 10 piece, 10 piece glass set which you can buy now at a really cheap price at Home Goods, TJ Maxx and all those affiliated companies you can see $10 for the whole set of 10 pieces and uh, a lot of people are buying and uh, we bought that a couple of weeks ago and this is what I'm thinking about that of course it's a nice price I mean it's a main brand of course and the glasses yeah the glasses are looking really good as we can expect from a premium brand for some reason we cannot find them anymore on their home page maybe they ex ex exchanged or I uh, switched out the whole line which makes sense and then give it to some kind of cheap retailer and uh, but they are still looking good I like the combination of having the square which is some kind of modern form and the old-fashioned thing here we had already some kind of glasses which had this rectangle shape not only at the bottom but also on the top and it was really difficult to drink out of them so here it's almost round it's not exactly round but you don't have to really look where to drink you just take it and uh, take a sip so that's good uh, that's really convenient so you don't have to be worried that you're having guests and they don't know how to drink out of them and they still have this really nice shape at the bottom so i like them and we uh, put them to wash in the dishwasher and it looks like they are holding up nicely I put them here so you can see yeah it's uh, of course it's a little bit depending on the dishwasher and the uh, taps which you're using to wash but uh, it looks like they're holding up nicely and there are even more good things when it comes to the dishwasher usage when you turn it upside down and you see the bottom it's totally flat so sometimes the glasses they are not flat they have some kind of a dip where water and sometimes also dirt is collected and i really hate that and this uh the, yeah with these glasses there's absolutely no problem with that that's the good thing so they actually work more or less now let's compare them to what we had before these were these things i think they were also from home goods not uh, exactly from tj max but but maybe they had that too they came into different sizes and this one i think the yeah the amount of liquid was about the same in these two which is actually a big surprise and it is a little bit more than this one this is a little bit smaller but not a lot the two main disadvantages are the rim is a little bit thinner than here maybe you can hear that yeah this is definitely stronger and that's the reason why we have still about 90 percent of these glasses even when we are using them since about six years on a daily base even when we let uh, when you let uh, such a glass drop from not too high there's a good chance it will survive especially into the sink here it will probably break uh, so it is definitely a small disadvantage and the biggest disadvantage for me is when you're using them I mean if you have to stir so here you can see because it's round when you're stirring of course you can still touch the glass and it makes some some noise especially let's say it happens during the night you want to sleep your children are up and preparing something to drink can happen and uh, you will hear a little bit i mean it will be muffled a little bit by whatever you have inside so it's like this here there's much more because you have these corners here i mean it's not a huge difference but it's definitely a noticeable noticeable difference we have never found or we we have never heard children uh, preparing their uh, drinks during the night with this glass and just a couple of days ago we noticed there's a child outside 
preparing something and I remembered, oh yeah, we, ha we have new glasses and that's probably the reason why we hear it for the first time. It's really difficult. Also, it's difficult to accelerate the ingredients, like uh, give it a good swirl. And that's actually my major complaint even. No matter how much, how strong, how fast you stir, uh, you cannot really accelerate the ingredient or the liquid inside. I mean, uh, let's say you want to prepare a chocolate milk, you have the milk inside, you put the chocolate and then you are starting to stir and it's really hard to uh, mix that inside. Even if you're using something like that, like an agitator, and you're putting that inside here, it's absolutely no problem. It will accelerate and that there will be like a funnel going almost uh, down to the bottom and it will really uh, mix everything up really well here. Absolutely not. It almost the liquid at the top, it will remain uh, yeah, almost standing still. There is absolutely or almost no swirl. No, nothing happens, uh, especially if you like to prepare a lot of chocolate milk or if you want to do like bentonite uh, water in the morning to have your detox or something like that. This works really great here or even better here in this uh, one, but it absolutely doesn't work here. Yeah, I mean, talking about that is one thing, but I just wanted to show you that. Here we start with the old glasses, and as you can see, there is a big swirl. It goes all the way down, really, absolutely down to the bottom here easily within a couple of seconds, and everything will be mixed nicely. Let's try same thing here. It has a really hard time to get up to speed and uh, no matter how long we are doing that you can really feel that this uh, agitator has uh, absolutely problems and we have to be absolutely uh, centered to get any uh, anything going and still it's heavily struggling and needs much more power to uh, get even a fraction of the swirl of this one. So if you're doing a lot of such things, I recommend to stick with something which is absolutely round. This thing looks nice, but it absolutely hinders a lot of these uh, swirl capabilities. So yeah, that's it for now. I mean, it's beautiful, definitely no problem with that, but uh, it has definitely some disadvantages and i just wanted to let you know about that and if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time